It doesn't matter whether you have a home bar with a kegerator or a professional bar with many taps. One of the most crucial things you can do to maintain the best possible quality in your beer is clear those beer lines and beer faucets regularly. Without regular cleaning, yeast can build up and form particles in the lines, and pretty soon you've got little nasties floating around your beer and you don't want that. You should be cleaning out your beer lines about every half keg. That's about the best optimum time to do it to make sure you have the best possible quality beers. Doing so can be extremely easy if you've got a beer line cleaning kit from kegworks.com. Let's take a look. Cleaning out your beer lines might sound rather intimidating, but this is all it takes. You start off with this quart bottle with a pump assembly, specialized spanner wrench, a faucet brush, and some cleaning solution, and that's it. So let's go ahead and clean our beer lines out. The first and most important thing to do is make sure that we have the CO2 turned completely off. And now we turn the regulator off. Next, you'll have to take apart your system by unscrewing your faucet with a spanner wrench and unscrewing the coupler from the beer line to clean inside the pieces and parts that pour your beer. Now to clean the faucet out, we're going to use this bowl of warm water. To this, we're going to add a cap full of the cleaning solution that comes with the kit. I'm going to put some of the cleaning solution in this quart jar here as well. Then take apart the faucet, give them a good scrub with your faucet brush. Pay special attention to brushing the inside of the faucet body and the inside of the coupler probe. Getting inside those grooves is important. Connect the cleaning jar and pump to the faucet shank coupling nut. Make sure that you use the included washer between the cleaning attachment and the faucet coupling nut. Use the spanner wrench to tighten a bit. Then place the beer line end in the bucket and pump the solution through the lines. Disconnect the cleaning jar and fill it back up with clean water. Just as before, pump the water through the beer line. Repeat this one more time to ensure that all the cleaning solution has been rinsed from the lines. After rinsing, disconnect the cleaning jar and pump and replace the faucet assembly. Use the spanner wrench to slightly tighten the coupling nut. Next, we take our beer line that's just been cleaned out and make sure you get the washer out. Put the washer back in and attach to the beer coupler, and then the coupler to the keg. Now we're going to open up our CO2 tank all the way. Once that's open properly, we now want to take and turn our regulator on. Once that's done, put the CO2 tank back in the fridge. And we're ready for another cold pint.